Ag PhD full episodes and more are now available on Acres TV, the newest ag platform connecting you to fields of information. Look for us on watchacrestv.com. During our Farm Basics time each week, we talk about something that we discuss on the farm a little bit, but if you are a non-farmer or you're a beginning farmer, you might say, what in the world is that? <laughs> so today we're going to talk about apical dominance. All right, I'm going to start with an example that probably you've seen before. If you've ever been around an apple orchard or driven by an apple orchard, you may think, man, why do they always have these dwarf trees. Now there is some different tree stock that you can get. You can get a dwarf variety, but one of the things that they're doing to keep those plants shorter so they can reach all the apples and pick them easy is they'll do some cutting off of the top parts of the tree and they'll try to trim the tree to keep it short. And what they're really trying to fight is apical dominance. So what's going on with apical dominance is the main part of the tree or the top part of that plant is going to continue to want to go up. And so the tree gets tall. By trimming that top one off, you stop the apical dominance. Now that tree is going to bush out more rather than grow tall. So apical dominance really means that that top growing point is the lead. That's the dominant thing. That's in charge of the whole plant. So where I first heard about this was back 30 plus years ago when we were spraying Pursuit. And they said the thing with spraying Pursuit, it's an ALS chemistry. We sprayed it on our soybeans and they said it reduces apical dominance in that soybean plant. So with soybeans, the new growth keeps coming out on top. There's more new growth. It's always on top and it keeps coming. Well, rather than that being in control of the plant, there are other plant parts that may be in control, which means that soybean plant will bush out a little bit more. So the soybean plant after spraying Pursuit, we found, was a little bit shorter and then it was a little bit bushier. So it literally changed something going on in the plant. That something was apical dominance. So the plant structure did look a little bit different after we had sprayed Pursuit. Yeah, it's kind of interesting just how this works. And it's really fun to learn about plants for, for me and I, I would hope for just about everybody out there. I, you always have things that come up. I had a tree that I had planted in my front yard. We had a storm and the main growing point of that tree broke in the storm. And I thought, well, I guess we'll just have to cut the tree out and put a new tree in. But my arborist said, no, 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 don't do that. You're gonna have an amazing tree here because now what's gonna happen is these side branches are gonna take over and it really did and it turned out to be great. Uh, I, I wouldn't say the same with my corn brain. If the top breaks off, that is the growing point of the corn plant. So and it only has one and it only has one. So like soybeans, that plant has many different growing points. So that's the other thing. It's important to understand the plant that you're talking about. But always remember the plant's job. It has one job in life and that is to reproduce. So it's going to do everything it can to put on seeds, to get to reproduction. However the plant looks in the end, it doesn't really care. It just wants to reproduce. Well, we've been talking about apical dominance here, and when it comes to our weed of the week, apical dominance isn't the most important thing there, but we want to get this thing under control. Can you identify this week's weed? 